Hi friends! Today is day four of Advent. If you've not been following along, I have been doing an Advent video every day this month. I'll be posting from the 1st through the 25th and every day I will be pulling from these wonderful advent bags behind me to highlight a creator that I follow who has under a thousand subscriptions. And today is going to be a question answering day. I will be doing both my regular videos as well as answering some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram and on YouTube. So let's get to it. Today's question is from Vegan Bunny Mama on Instagram and her question is do you still watch or read the Harry Potter films and books? I feel conflicted but they mean so much to me. That is a great question. I think this is definitely something that is going to be different for every person so everyone that you ask is going to have a different opinion about it. Me personally I still watch the movies. I still will reread the books. I am still wearing merchandise that I had previously purchased. I am still um, anything that I had prior to the great fallout, if you will. Um, I still have all of those things because I don't feel like me throwing out the things that I already have or not continuing to watch the movies or not continuing to read the books is really doing anything to either hinder or help her. I think what we can do moving forward is to hurt her where her pocketbook is and that means not continuing to buy books or movies or licensed merchandise things that she gets a cut from um streaming on any kind of a streaming channel for the movies um she'll get a percentage of that any um loaning books from um libraries things like that she's going to get a cut from that um, but the movies that I already own and the books that I already own and the merchandise that I already own, she's not getting anything from that. And I no longer put my books behind me on my shelves. I'm not promoting them anymore. I, if I reread them in the future, I, I don't know for sure if I um, will be uh, promoting that on the channel. Uh, if I'm telling you that I am reading them, um, I would definitely post it on Goodreads because I feel like Goodreads is like a whole different entity. I, I think it's really just a personal decision and I think you have to think about what works best for you and for me I feel like continuing on with the things that I already have isn't helping her any um, but I won't continue to do things that put any money in her pockets. I also um, just because I'm sure that in some way or another there's going to be someone on this video who is standing with JK and doesn't like that we're all anti-JK now um, and to you I would say I don't know her personally. I don't know what her decisions are. Um, I'm not here to badmouth her. I'm here to say that if I was in her situation and supposedly I was saying things that people were taking the wrong way, I wouldn't continue to stick my foot in it. I would shut my damn mouth and move on with life. So how she feels I don't really know because um, I'm not her I don't know her personally I just feel like I don't want to be involved in that and I don't want to give her any of my money I don't agree with some of the things that she says even when they're taken out of context so thank you for the question because I definitely think that is one that we could wax poetically about for ages it's definitely, as I said, something that we all have to decide what's best for us and what makes us feel okay and makes us feel like we're not being terrible people. Um, so just do what you feel is right for you. And also, if you do continue to read the books and watch the movies, uh, make sure you're still supporting your transgender community as well. Um, always support your trans community anyway, but I've definitely heard both sides of this from the trans community as well as far as like some of them who are okay with people still reading and watching and some of them are not necessarily okay with it and I'm not one to speak on that because I am a cisgender straight white woman 
So um, I can't give you any opinion on that. I can just tell you what makes me feel right for me. Um, but definitely just do what feels right for you and support your trans community either way. And let's see, we're on day four. So we're gonna pull our card from day four. And day four is Tay Buggy, AKA Bug. Bug does both reading and writing on her channel. So there is both reading content, writing content, because that's what I just said. Hey. Uh, also, cats. All the cats. All of the cats. Um, and also, I can't keep up with Bugs' pets. Uh, but definitely the cats, and then there's a few other pets in there as well. Um, <laughs> I can't keep up with my own pets, let alone someone else's. Uh, but also recently for NaNoWriMo, um, Bug and Matilda did a full 24 hour live stream for the first day of NaNo, which was amazing. I took part in that as well. That was super fun. And just regular nerdy things on the regular. Regular nerdy things on the regular? Yep. That's what I meant. Um, so Bug posts a lot of just random nerdy things as well. So if you're looking for nerdy, kitty cat, reading, writing content, you can check out Bug in the description box below and in the cards up above. This is the part where I tell you to hit the like button. It turns a different color. It's really cool. And also subscribe so that you don't miss anything I have going on in the future. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!